So the temperatures will be dropping, but what's so interesting is we went from Florida winter to Florida spring in a matter of what, three days? Yes. That's right. Our cold snaps are just that. Mm -hmm. They are snaps. They tend to be very brief, lasting just a couple of days. And meanwhile, today we were right back to 82 degrees and above average. Even right now, as I speak at 649, our temperatures are still at the average high. And that's after hitting a high of 82. So you get the gist. We've kicked right back into spring mode. Dew points running in the mid 50s. Wind out of the southwest around six miles per hour. As for our temperatures for tomorrow, notice this. This is where we're headed. So today, certainly a warm day, but tomorrow, even warmer. We're looking for afternoon highs around 87 in Palmdale, LaBelle, and Immokalee. Punta Gorda, Fort Myers, I'm calling for highs around 83. 82, my expected high up in Port Charlotte. Naples will max out around 80 or so, 79 degrees expected for Marco Island. And this warmer than average trend will continue into the weekend, even the start of next week. Afternoon high temperatures will continue to run in the lower 80s, anywhere from 7 to 8 degrees above average in many cases. And then Wednesday, we'll see a little bit of a drop back with increasing rain chances and the potential for a cold front. But again, of course, the system that many days away will likely evolve in some manner. And of course, we'll keep you updated as it does so. But for now, our weather set up nice and simple. We have high pressure shifting off toward the east. That's helping to induce a southerly wind, keeping those temperatures up, also elevating your dew points. So tomorrow morning, we're back to the 60s. Leave the jackets and grab those sunglasses. Lots of sunshine expected for your Thursday morning. Heading into your afternoon, a little bit more cloud cover expected. But like today, your temperatures for tomorrow again will be exceptionally warm in the 80s and we'll continue to see those southerly winds into your Friday as well. That is ahead of a cold front that will be fizzling out or at least weakening as it tries to work its way through southwest Florida, but it'll never fully make its way through. So for your Friday morning, another mild start, but you will be noticing more cloud cover. Mix the clouds and sun as we head into your Friday. Could see a passing rain shower. I have rain chances around 20 percent. Otherwise, heading into the afternoon and the evening, Evening, still looking great for outdoor plants with those temperatures continuing to run above normal. So rain chances Friday into the weekend and the start of next week will stay at 20% and then they'll bump up a bit with the potential of that cold front for your Wednesday. So Wednesday's rain chances that will be the highest in my seven day forecast. Otherwise, over the weekend, other than a passing shower, expect these spring temperatures with morning lows in the mid 60s, highs in the lower 80s.